And so for the next piece, we're going to be working on the key and the prop. You can read this here. I'll do that for you. And what we've got to make the key is we're going to be making a sketch on this face right here. So we'll have to orient the top ring key is the tab we'll be working in here. We'll have to orient it so that we're looking at it like this. And that would be the left face with it facing up. When I did this originally, it was facing this way. You can spin it, make it face that way. So what the steps are going to run us through here is we're going to use the offset tool to create an image on the inside of this hole that is a similar figure to what the hole is. We're going to set the distance between this edge of our new sketch and the hole to be the distance print gap so that when we actually print it on the 3D printer, it will fit through the hole. And then we're going to make this diagonal line a construction line, and we're going to add two more lines, horizontal and vertical, right there. So with that, I will say that I had some difficulty with the offset tool in this instance. And so if you have to do this multiple times to get it right, you're in good company. I sure did. And so after I do this, you can see my offset is way out here. What we want to do is grab that arrow, pull it till it flips, and our image is on the inside. Then if we hit, I think I can double click. Nope. If we hit enter, we can set that distance to print gap. And then that will put us where we need to be right there. And for some reason, a few times I was getting a triangle out of this or something strange was happening. So again, I had to do this multiple times before making this video to get it right. So the next step is going to be to take this diagonal line that we created, turn it into a construction line, and then make two more lines that are not construction lines, both horizontal and vertical right there. So we can click the construction tool, select that line. After we make the sketch. All right, let's see, do we still need to be inside the sketch to do that? Give me one moment. So I was doing that in backwards order. I was clicking in construction and then the line. What we need to do actually is click the line and then click construction. And then it will turn it into a construction line. You can tell it's a construction line by now that having those dotted lines there and stuff. So then we need two more lines, one horizontal and one vertical. We're going to constrain it to that point. So make sure that that's there. And then make sure you have your yellow line, yellow dotted line showing you that you're horizontal. And we can also come up there to the top and just hover over right here. Do not click. And that will give you the vertical uh, constraint so that it stays vertical. And then we can also just hover over there, come straight up here. We've created those two lines. And so again, when you go to create this horizontal line, if you start here, click, come up here, hover, do not click. You can come straight down and it will give you the yellow dotted line showing you that you are perfectly horizontal in that case. And then just connecting these two points will make a line that is perfectly vertical. So uh, this is a bit of a complicated step in my book. I hope this video is helpful and I hope you have an awesome day.